Here's a little Monday motivation for you. How's birdieing seven straight holes en route to your first PGA Tour win at the age of 24 sound? Michael Kim was in fuego. What a week. What a win. Where there's tractors, golf, and puppets, there's bound to be a whole lot of good, bad, and unusual. Bring Harold Varner III's good golf as of late into the equation, and you've got at least two of those. No strings attached. Varner's head cover, Gerald, yes, his head cover has its own Twitter account, became part of the PGA Tour Live crew at the John Deere Classic this week. HB3 might need to find a new head cover. The good guy that he is paid it forward by leaving tickets for the John Deere Classic at Will Call for a random fan that reached out on social media. He even took time to pause for a photo while his new biggest fans followed him during his round. Also paying it forward on social media, Steven Bowditch put out an ad for a last minute caddy and selected a high school student from his submission on Twitter. Elias turned 17 on Friday. Talk about a birthday for the books. Nice Some kind of happy yeah. potion must <laughs> have been in the water this week. But there were also some golf is hard moments, courtesy of Ryan Moore. <laughs> Wesley Bryan. I don't even know where that went. And Wesley Bryan. <laughs> Good thing they didn't have one of these in their hand. There are a few things that are cooler than a giant John Deere tractor driver. But Tiger Woods golfing at Wembley Stadium with English footballer Alex Ox Chamberlain is pretty legit. But this is Tiger Woods, so that was just the appetizer. He then headed straight to Wimbledon, where he sat in Serena Williams' box with Princess Kate and Meghan. Talk about weekend goals. If you could play golf in any sports stadium, which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below and join me this week for the takeaway as I recap each round of the Barbasol and Open Championships.